I interviewed uh, Malcolm X's daughter. Yes. Uh, Ilyasa. Ilyasa. And we, we spoke about what her mother had said about the Nation of Islam and the death of her husband. I remember your mother had done an interview where she said that, you know, before the actual assassination, that there were three different attempts on your father's life. Now, was that accurate? If that's what she said, that was accurate. Okay. If that's what she said. Um, you know, again, the attempts, it, it, it wasn't because of something you know, that, was in, that was going on between the, the nation. It was because he had... Because he had gained the support of 33 heads of African you know, states and their, their agenda was to bring the issue of human rights violations to the Supreme Court at the United Nations. And so he was killed shortly after. Now, now your sister, uh, Kubila, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Kubila, she was actually charged with conspiracy to kill Louis Farrakhan. She didn't go to jail. She didn't conspire to kill Farrakhan. Um, you know, she went to the United Nations International School. There was another young man who went to school with her, Kirk Fitzpatrick. Kirk Fitzpatrick appeared out of nowhere. Who, they were friends when they were in school, and he discussed it. And, and it was supposed to be a joke. And I think he must have been filming it, or he was recording what he was saying to my sister. And, um, and you know, there you had that, you know, all of that happened. It was really unfortunate because my sister, Kabila, her name means Mother Nature. She wouldn't kill a flea. You know, she was the one who had the turtles, the, the, you know, all the little insects and cocoons, you know, that would become butterflies when we were children. You know, she would have all these, you know, the, the, all these things of nature in her room. Uh, we also spoke about how her sister at one point was indicted for trying to assassinate uh, right. Minister Farrakhan, which she said was really overblown and right. ultimately the charges were dropped. But because of those charges against her sister, from what I understand, uh, the Nation of Islam and Farrakhan actually took that opportunity to bring together uh, Malcolm X's family That's right. and Farrakhan. And they had a, a big, a big um, I guess, a big meeting or a presentation where the two of them actually stood together. That's right, at the and Apollo. And it actually promoted healing between uh, those two sides, which I think was very, very much needed. Yeah, it sounds like you're saying all things work for the good. I don't know if that's what you say, but but yeah. so um, that is what happened. But what it shows, see, you can always tell the amount of Jesus that is in a person by the kind of love that they extend whenever someone has done something to offend you. This was a testimony, Vlad of the amount of Christ consciousness and the high percentage of Jesus that's in the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Here's a man that someone allegedly is getting ready to attempt to assassinate him, and he doesn't run and hide nor fight back. He comes and embraces and financially supports and creates a platform for healing. What manner of man is this? So this is something um, that we refused under the guidance of the minister to allow to be used uh, as a weapon to create a deeper divide between the Shabazz family and the Nation of Islam or the Shabazz family and the Farrakhan family. And I think it did a good service because she was uh, uh, exonerated, charges were abandoned, she's a free person now, and as uh, Ilyasa has said in the interview with you and has stayed consistent with it. She said the nation, not the ones that had anything to do with trying to kill my father. The nation wasn't in Mecca following him, the CIA was. The nation couldn't have made a call to the France government and told the France government to not let Malcolm X get off the plane because they didn't want him killed on French soil. The nation of Islam couldn't have went in and put a fire uh, bomb or a Molotov cocktail inside the bedrooms of his children after a fire. Somebody else was responsible for that. And she believed, as many of those that have done 
the uh, probing for themselves and research for themselves and abandon being a lazy learner and went and dug it up for themselves. She found in her deep research that more than likely my father was assassinated because he had the support of 33 African nations and they were prepared to go before the UN and the Supreme Court to charge America and England with crimes against humanity for the kidnapping and the murder of hundreds of millions of Africans uh, over, over the years. So it's something, Vlad. Did, have you, did you know that, know that Malcolm X and Martin Luther King both were killed at the age of 39? Mm. Do you know that a male matures at the age of 40? Why did they make sure that Malcolm was gone at, before he got f to 40 and that Dr. King, why, did they, why are they gone before 40? It's because if they were given this much trouble to the wickedness of this world and they hadn't even matured yet, what kind of soldiers would they have been had they been allowed to continue uh, to live their life? Malcolm X, in the latter part of his life, had made a decision and asked, could he come back to the nation? He was working his way back. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad told him, he said, yes, but please, you have to go out and put out some of the fires that you have started. And who knows, on February 21st, 1965, at the Autobahn Ballroom, maybe he was getting ready to put out some fires, but before he could put out the fire, somebody opened fire on him. Not the FOI, the FBI killed Malcolm X.